So I'm Colin Bond, I'm the co-founder and technical director of Fulcrum 3D. Fulcrum 3D, we are seven and a half years old now. We were founded in 2011. We are a technology development and services company focused on utility scale wind and solar. Some of our clients are household names such as um, Origin Energy, AGL, um, Adani. We also have a few government industries in WA and NT. And we also work with um, smaller developers in Europe and um, South America and uh, Australia. Like all good Australian companies, we actually started in the pub. So <laughs> I was finishing my PhD. One of my friends was working at um, Epiron, which is Australia's, or was Australia's largest uh, private wind farm developer. And they were looking at the next generation of wind turbines. Basically, wind turbines typically have a, mar have a hub height of 80 metres. And we're starting to move up to 150 metres now. And masts are incredibly expensive at that point. So they started to look at remote sensing. A US manufacturer was trying to sell them a device called a SODAR, and my PhD was based on SODARs in Antarctica. So we started talking about these actual SODAR technology and how they worked. And we had a look at the design and said, yeah, that's just, that's a standard, bog standard SODAR. There's nothing special about that. If you wanted to, to design one for the wind energy industry, where accuracy is paramount, this is what you'd do. So that's what we started in 2009. 2009, 2010, we were doing R&D and prototype development. And we actually had our first commercial units in validation in 2011. Since then, F3D has grown a lot, and our core expertise is the interaction between the natural environment and renewable energy systems. So be it wind, solar, we don't get into waves, but it's really the bottom couple of hundred metres of the atmosphere. So to date, we have um, a very good market share in Australia. And in 2012, when our local market declined, we made a very good push into the UK and Europe. And as that market fell, our market came back up and um, currently dominate the Australian market, as you can see. And interestingly, you can pick where the, um, pick where the NEM is in, in Australia from our map there. So what is a SODAR? A SODAR is basically the small box on the bottom left of that picture. It's very similar to a, a, a sonar on a submarine, but instead of bouncing sound off fish and rocks, we bounce it off the air. So as I'm talking to you now, a very, very small portion of um, my sound is bouncing off the atmosphere and scattering around. For the, for the technical, it's around about a 200 dB loss from what we transmit to what we receive back. And from that, we're able to make a quantitative measurement of the wind speed. So traditionally, uh, the markets used uh, MET masts, which you can see in that picture there, and they have a very expensive capital cost to, to install. So, for example, an 80 meter MET mast, which is what's traditionally used in Australia, has about $80,000 installation fee, um, and the uncertainty is 12.1% in your financial yield at the end of it. You can add a SODAR to that, and you can reduce your project uncertainty as you can measure the, the wind speed across the full sweep of the turbine blade. Um, if your mast isn't as tall as your turbine's hub height, you have to start making assumptions and modelings, and they have additional uncertainty to it. So our goal with the SODAR is to reduce project uncertainty. So when you want to borrow money to build a billion dollar wind farm, it's your yield assessment and your yield uncertainty. That's a critical thing. So remote sensing, there's three cases that have gone on the board here. The first one is just a mast, and that's the traditional bog standard, what's been done for the last couple of decades. As hub heights have increased to 120 to 140 metres, there's a, there's a mechanical issue in actually building a MET mast that tall that doesn't destroy your wind speed. One of our case studies is um, the largest wind farm that has been approved <laughs> in Australia, and our SODARs did the bulk of the uh, monitoring on this site. This is notable because it's complex terrain and it's the first site in the world that is primarily off road sensing. Forecasting, I'll go through this super quick, but um, this is the scale of the environment, basically. So up in the top, on the periods of one hour to one month, you have numerical weather models. On the order of several minutes to a couple of hours, you can have um, satellite. But if you want to actually do, if you want to measure what's going on on your site 
on the scale of several minutes, on a spatial scale of several hundred metres to kilometres, you have to have on-site measurement. There's no way around it. And that's where, we, uh, that's where our core expertise is. So we've taken our core expertise in measuring those parameters to actually forecasting those parameters. So what is your power from your solar farm or wind farm going to be in five minutes? As a massive market. <laughs> uh, this, is our, this is our team. We are based in, based in Sydney, just uh, north of the bridge. Um, primarily PhDs, engineers, computer scientists, and our uh, installation team as well. Thank you. Thanks so much, Colin.